Moreover, we can speak of religion as an important dimension of culture and politics, which means that despite being religious, this type of education has always been influenced by or knocked under political pressure. So religious education could be seen as a means of empowerment and a challenge to the social hierarchy, which people who possess religious knowledge are ranked above all. As members of the ruling elite, they have always had a heard voice in public matters. And since the early decades of Islam, North African indigenous people had been aware of the importance of education as the adoption of a religion needs a knowledge of it, which could be accumulated through education. And the channel for the Omani North African interaction was through the adoption of the Ibadi doctrine, a revolutionary egalitarian doctrine as compared to the submissive authoritarian orthodox doctrine in North Africa since the 7th century AD. It is important to mention in this introduction that while Ibadism in Oman has been the official doctrine of the ruling elite and the majority of the society, the case in North Africa has been totally the opposite. Ibadism has been the doctrine of a tiny minority of indigenous North Africans who are called the Amazigh or the Berber. And that the Omani North African educational interaction has witnessed three major phases that are only in recent decades that this relationship has been put into light due to the availability of primary sources, documents, and materials. Before that, sources went from hand to hand secretly due to, to its doctrinal nature. And the awareness of such facts may help students fathom the complicated relationship between education, religion, politics, and ethnicity, along with conformity and discord, which makes it a fascinating theme for study for MA or PhD students. Start with the first phase, the phase of the establishment of the early interaction between Oman and North Africa from the 7th to the 10th centuries, we can say that the first educational interaction of North Africans with Omanis happened during the first century of the Hijra or the seventh century AD in Basra. That's because the first Islamic doctrines spread in North Africa and adopted by indigenous people were Ibadism and Sufrism, a two subgroups of the so-called Kharijit doctrine. This doctrinal tendency has shaped North African Islam and Islamic pedagogy and continues to shape local identity until nowadays.